Hi, this is Cash from Sinbad Comics and bringing you a video today about a big mistake that I made and hopefully I can uh, at least give you some tips to help you not make the same mistake. Up in a second. Okay, so I recently at a local show picked up a stack of X-Men books and I've got those here. Um, a lot of books, X-Men number 16 through 24. And most of them looked in good shape. A couple of VGs and then some that looked to be in fine. Uh, but anyway, picked those up. Got uh, what I thought was a, a fair deal uh, on those books. And I made the mistake of not closely inspecting them while I was at the show. I had a good rapport with the guy. We, uh, you know, we talked, we haggled. Um, no mention was made of any, any uh, restoration on the books. And uh, so I bought those books, brought them home. Uh, I go through a lot of books, so they went into my stacks. And uh, today I open them up to grade those myself, take a look, take a closer look. And I'll show you what I found. Uh, you see on the screen here, this is my, uh, the, this is the book that clued me in and made me take a closer look at all of them. Uh, looks great uh, at a glance. This is you know what I saw at the uh, at the show, but it was in Mylar. And but look at this. And uh, I just took some pictures so I can zoom in and show you. If you look there on the uh, edge of the page, you can see while there is some margin on this first page, on this second page, there's no margin at all. It, it actually cuts into the uh, the panel just barely. And I'll go to a next. This is the other side, and you can see also there very, very thin margins that get thinner as they go down. This is a sure sign that the book has been trimmed. The right edge uh, of this book has been trimmed. Now this one looks fairly even, uh, but goes to tip number one. Take a ruler. Take a ruler with you because when I measure this book compared to what it should be, it's about a quarter of an inch, uh, not a quarter, I'm sorry, it's about a sixteenth of an inch too slim. It's been trimmed, the very edge of all these pages have been trimmed off between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch. Um, hard to tell just glancing at it when the book is by itself, but if you take a ruler, you'll know. Now, I'll take you, uh, every one of these books, there were nine books, every one of them had the right edge trimmed. They didn't all look like this on the inside. Uh, actually, it was just that book that looked, you know, that, where it was that obvious on the inside. But I'll show you some other, uh, other things and things to look for. Now, if you look here, you'll see... It's, it's a little difficult to see, but you can see on, uh, on this book, and there we go. It's a, here's a better picture. This is an X, early X-Men, same era, that uh, came out of my own collection. And as you can see here on the edge, on the right side, that the, uh, that the pages kind of peak, right? They, they, they peak, and that's because when they're flat, they're the same size, and then as the pages are folded, uh, you get this little peak in the middle. Um, that's a pretty good sign that at least the entire book has not been trimmed. Um, you'll also see at the top edges uh, the bit of overhang, and that's the cover, especially during this era, there's almost always some overhang on, on the top uh, edge of the books, but you want to see that peak in pages. I'll show you another book, not not the one I just showed you, but another book. Take a look at that. There's not only no peak, all of the pages are very even on that right side. Um, and you can see there is a bit of an overhang with the cover, and you really shouldn't see that. The cover shouldn't be overhanging the right side, and you definitely don't see the peak of the pages. This is flat. This book has been trimmed. It's been cut. It's, unless you're looking for it, this is very, very easy to miss, uh, especially if you don't have the book out and on something where you can actually uh, see it closely and measure it. 
Now I'll go on uh, here. Uh, I have a couple of examples. Uh, here was another book. If you looked inside and you flipped through this book quickly, um, you may not notice uh, what's been done to it. But as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in this. I know I'm not looking at the camera, but um, you can see along the left edge, I've lined it up uh, with the uh, with a single line on my desk pad here. Uh, it's a it's a cutting pad. Um, but it's great for measuring things, which is why I have it. But if I go over to the right edge, you'll see here at the top, you're just shy of seven inches. And right there on that top edge, it's very, very close. But as you go down the book, that gap gets wider and wider until it's probably an eighth of an inch too short. This is a sign that the book was trimmed. It's definitely trimmed, and someone did a poor job of it. They trimmed it unevenly. Um, so it's wider at the top than at the bottom. And that's another thing you want to check for. Again, take a ruler with you. Uh, here's another example that was trimmed the other way. As you can see here, again, on the 7-inch line, the left edge, the spine is lined up straight. But if you go over, you start with that larger gap at the bottom, or sorry, at the top this time, and it gets smaller and smaller to your right, almost at that seven inch line. And again, this one, it's an obvious trim once you see it. In a bag, and even out of the bag, just eyeballing it, this is very, very difficult to tell. Um, but here we are, these are things to look for. Uh, one clue, take a ruler. Uh, second, look for that peak in the pages uh, on the right side in the middle. And definitely at the top, you want to see a, a, just a little bit of overhang, especially on these Silver Age uh, books. And uh, you won't catch everything every time, but those are some pretty sure signs that a book has been trimmed and something to definitely look at. Don't make the mistake I did. Uh, turns out it's going to be pretty costly. Uh, but uh, that's okay. Lesson learned, and hopefully my mistake will help you guys out. I uh, really appreciate you joining in. If you like, please uh, hit the subscribe button, tag that bell so you'll be notified, and we'll see you next time.